Hey everyone, today we are on to Alyssa Affairs, which I think means we only have five more songs to learn, uh, which, yeah, we're getting through these pretty quickly, um, and I'm really pleased with all the feedback I've been getting, so thanks a lot for all of that. Um, this one is a little bit less complicated than some of the others, so there's not too much going on in terms of like um, little melody lines, it's mostly chords that you can then add to, um, so it sounds quite nice. So this is how I play in Alyssa Affairs, I'll play it through once and then I'll break it down. So, we've got quite a lot of the same chord progressions going on, um, almost all the way through the song. Um, it's fairly similar uh, patterns, and um, yeah, once you know which chords you're playing, it'll make it really straightforward for you. I'm just going to um, get the lyrics up because I forget which order we're going in. So, to start with, starting on a B flat major, I'm just going to play the octave, so it's B flat both fingers, uh, middle finger, thumb. And then I'm just going from, so I've got F, B flat, and then E flat. And then same again, but my little, my finger's gonna play G, uh, but the same, the same three notes, so F, B flat, E flat. And then we're gonna go to This time we've got B flat, E flat, F. And that pattern is all the way through. So those last two were. So uh, F, B flat, E flat. 
that again, and then down to a D, and then an F, so F, A, C. So I'll play it through slowly, it goes like this. Some of those times I then move down to a C, B flat, and just play. Uh, sorry. Same thing again. So the pattern for your left hand is B flat. G, E flat, D, F. same thing for the introduction and all of the verses. Then when you're into the chorus, it starts with uh, this uh, D with your left hand, but it's a B flat major chord, so so it's F, B flat, D. So D with your left hand, F, B flat, D. Yes. But you get the you get the picture. So um, starting with that D and then B flat major with your right hand, and then you're moving up to a E flat. So G B flat E flat with your right hand, and E flat with your left hand, and then an F. So F A C F with your left hand, and then just quickly play B flat. So F, B flat, D, and then it's an F with F, A, C, and then it's the same thing again. It's more than just a single plant, but it dies, it dies, it dies. And we don't play the F, A this time, we just go straight to a B flat. To another chorus, and then um, you get into the and you wanna scream. Uh, this pattern is B flat. Don't call me kid, don't call me baby. And then same thing again, G minor. So G, B flat, D. Well, it's got three chords, so it goes. It's quite a quick little turnaround. So, so a G, B flat. 
about day. You and you're going to swap your thumb to an F, and your left hand's going to go from the G to the B flat. You're in an E flat, so E flat, G, F, B flat. Staying on this F. And then you're just finishing on this B flat. And then stays that. And that's the outro. So um, yeah, like I said, not, not much variation between um, each verse and each chorus. Um, it's fairly simple once you know where the chords are, um, so hopefully that will cover it for you. Um, if you need any further um, explanations or any um, like clues as to how the song is structured, then uh, let me know and I'll try and lay it out for you. Uh, but yeah, um, thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I think the next song is, uh, let's have a look, uh, Invisible String, which I have already recorded, uh, so that will be up tomorrow. So uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Um, keep those requests coming for covers if you if you have any you want to hear me sing, um, but if you don't, then don't worry about it. And uh, thanks a lot for watching.